that this is about the idea of evolution. And evolution is simply the idea that species do not stay the same, but over a long period of time may change, may evolve from one species to another. So let's work through an example according to the un our understanding of evolution, which is the best at this point in time, which is evolution by natural selection as devised by Charles Darwin. And it goes something like this. Imagine we've got species X here, and over a long time, they evolve to species Y. So let's think about it in terms of the steps. Step number one, species X, not all the same. There's variation within species X. All the individuals are different. That's point one. Point two, those individuals are competing for limited resources. That could be food, that could be water, that could be a mate, that could be light if I'm a plant. They compete for limited resources. Three, the ones which are most likely to survive are the ones with the best adaptations. So if I'm a giraffe, I'm more likely to survive if I've got a long neck because I can eat more leaves. Point number four, if I'm more likely to survive, I'm more likely to reproduce and I'm more likely to therefore pass my genes for those good adaptations to my offspring. Now let's remember about evolution. It's a gradual change which happens over a long period of time. It happens over many, many, many generations. Now that's a key idea which underpins evolution by natural selection. You also need to know that new evidence comes up which supports the theory of natural selection. So for instance, some rats have become resistant to a rat poison called warfarin. The fact that some of these rats have become resistant to the rat poison is evidence of natural selection. At the high level, you need to understand the term speciation. Speciation means the process of something becoming a new species. This often happens when there is some sort of geographic isolation.